Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Currently, we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 383 points, a little over 1%. S&P 1% at 42 points, NASDAQ a half a percent or 78 points, Russell down a quarter of a percent, that's five points, the semis off 57, one and seven tenths percent. If you got gold trading out at 1900, that's up 12 bucks, silver is up 37 pennies, that's trading at 24.37, lights we crude up $4.58, trading out at 96.18. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart, we begin may looking at the ES mini price traded up this morning right to where we have both buyers and sellers so there's a brand new profile it did form we discussed that last week the bottom of this profile this is where support is, this is where the buyers are hanging out is at 4529 now you have both buyers and sellers hanging out at 4369 in essence price got up there looks like the sellers have a little bit of an edge if price can overcome that level that level again is 4369 we should see a move to the top of its daily profile which will line up with a descending trend line and that move would take us to 4484. That is the significant area of resistance. If we take a look at the uh, spot volatility, it's still well above its 50 day exponential moving average. So that's always a problem for the S&P 500 and the ES mini, any bad news, and we see a swift decline. Again, that decline should find support at the 4178 level, and that's inside the ES mini. The NQ right now, no new profiles or anything for us to take a look at. We know that both these have bottom patterns, TD9, Rhodes Mintum indicator signals. So in this case here, the real level for the NQ to be watching is the bottom of that daily profile. That's at the 14,342 level. Price can get back in there, you'd be looking at 14,653, 14,860. In the case of the US dollar index, continues to find resistance at its TD9 count top. That was back at the 9744 level, but price is above the top of a daily profile that is attempting to form. So it really has a neutral signal. Goldilocks, a brand new profile that did form on Friday, the bottom of which is 1871. The top is which is at 1924. We're trading right now at the 1899 level. Silver also finding resistance. It has a descending trend line as well as the top of its profile at the 2467 area. So that's where its battleground is. In the case of lights we crude, it's breaking out. It will break out if it can close above 9383. That's its TD9 count top. Natural gas just consolidated with inside its daily profile, as is the 30-year present. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Said Show. But if you're off to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. And thanks so much for joining us.